most of your students probably carry a mobile phone to class. Why not use that for a learning activity? In this presentation, I'll show you three in-class activities for students to do with their mobile phones in your class. Here are three teaching ideas that can be done with students with their mobiles in pretty much any course. I think uh, polls or quizzes are very easy to do and can be done in any class on any topic. Simple online messages using social media or social networking sites can also be very easy to do and set up. And the third activity involves drawing and sharing concept maps, probably using a learning management system like Moodle. Polls can be used to involve students in a class. Here, I ask the students to discuss this question and then respond using their mobile phone. I think it's interesting because the results also appear immediately on the screen. There are a number of tools to conduct polls with. Traditionally, people used clickers, but now we have a number of tools, including Moodle Questionnaire, Office Mix, Mentimeter, Poll Everywhere, and many, many more. Polls can be used before a class to get students interested in a topic. It can be used to motivate students to do some readings. Um, and during class, they can be used for um, getting for checking the students' knowledge on diff of different concepts or topics. And they can also be used after class, I think, uh, to review or recap different ideas covered in the class. And there's a lot of ways polls can be used. These are just a few. Recent research on teaching and learning shows that several methods of learning are more effective one of those methods is quizzes, or what researchers call retrieval practice, or sometimes testing. When students take tests or quizzes, they can assess their knowledge and assess what they know and what they don't know. Um, there's some links to the research and a book that might be of interest to people wanting to read more about this. The second activity that I think can be conducted in any classroom is a social media activity where students write a simple message on uh, on their phone. So for this um, activity, we used a web-based app called Today's Meet, and we just asked the students to write down a question for the presenter who was speaking in the, the class. So students don't have to use their real name or they could use their student ID. It's up to you. And the responses are collected in this simple forum. Today's students are very familiar with social media, but they don't have a chance to use it in the classroom. Using today's meet, a teacher can get the student to listen to a presentation and then write questions for the presenter, say that if the students are giving presentations in that app. After the presentation, the teacher can review the questions and choose to ask the presenters several of the questions that were written in today's meet. In the third and final activity that was presented at the lunchtime conversation, we looked at how to do a concept mapping activity. For this, we had students discuss uh, key concepts in small groups and make notes. The notes indicated relationships between ideas 
and documented some of the discussion. After students had a chance to draw or make some notes, they would then upload their picture of their notes to a forum in Moodle or a social network if you prefer. Once the picture was uploaded, students would then be able to give each other feedback and discuss any concepts that they might have missed or any relationships that were uh, discussed. Thanks for watching this presentation and let us know if any of these activities are useful in getting students more involved in the classroom activities that you're doing in your classes.